is one of Porsche's hottest selling vehicles. This car in particular has 434 horsepower because it is the GTS variant. In the Macan lineup, you have Macan, Macan S, and Macan GTS. The differences mainly are engine power. The Macan has 261 horsepower, the Macan S has 375 horsepower, and the Macan S actually got the 2021 GTS engine from the prior years. And the Macan GTS now has what used to be the turbo engine, which is the 2.9 twin turbo V6. Coming around to the rear end of the car, since the 2022 changeover, the body of the Macan has changed. So you'll find that the lights are the same exterior lighting that you're used to, but the big change was the rear lower end fascia. So this has definitely changed up a bunch. There's definitely more paint that's noticeable here. Um, they got the quad pipes exposed. It's a really good looking car. The space has stayed the same since the changeover. So you've still got plenty of room. You do have the option to pull this out. Keep this in the garage if you'd like, or just keep it in the car if you just want to keep your stuff protected. You've got the option to put these seats down. So, and then you notice that it lays down nice and flat. Inside of the very bottom underneath the trunk tray, which here at Porsche Austin, we throw that in as a gift. You've got your collapsible spare. So if anything ever happens, I hope it doesn't, but if it does, there is a little inflation kit on the left side and you can fill that thing up or just call 1-800-PORSCHE and tell them to do it. If it's raining outside, that's probably what I would do. So in order to put this back in, all you gotta do is slide it right in to the little track in there. And then you take these little ropes and you just hook them up to the corners. Nice and easy. And then to close it, you've got a few different options on the rear end. So you can close it straight up with this button here or if all the doors are locked and you're about to go inside the garage, just press the button on the right and it will close the doors and lock them. So I'm gonna close it. Before I close it, there's one more option, the adjustable height. So if you've got a notoriously low garage, you can lower this by here, hold the button here. You'll hear a little feedback and that means that it is responding. So it'll stop there every single time unless you readjust it to the top and obviously you can change that up on your own. Coming over to the interior, this is one of the coolest parts of the Macan. So in your interior, similar to the 2022, um, it has the panel surface here that's touch. You have the same size touch screen as before, but this is a GTS that has been set up with the Burmester sound system, which is absolutely incredible. It's one of the best sounding sound systems I've ever heard. If you ever got a sound system like the Burmester in your home, it's thousands and thousands of dollars. So the interior of the Macan is very driver focused. So you've got your tachometer here, deriving from like a 911 style nine, uh, race car. And that hasn't changed. Unlike the Cayenne, which has gone full digital in here, you've still got some analog features. On the right side, you've got your little cluster gauge here, which will give you mapping. It'll give you um, destination choices, trip choice, TPMS sensor, torque split, telling you where your all wheel drive system is, producing power. You got a sport chrono option, adaptive cruise control option, and your vehicle levels and your temperatures. On the main touchscreen, you've got options for voice commands. You've got Apple CarPlay wireless. You've got Sirius system, and you've got the map display, which is satellite enabled so you do have full satellite imaging look how beautiful that map system is and with the button on the or the toggle on the right you can twist it out and you can actually see the whole earth and there it is so on the interior you've got options to designate where the air goes whether it's on the head the body or the legs you've got the cooled seats or the ventilated seats which porsche calls them and then you've got your heated seats here down below since this is the gts it comes standard with pasm and what PASM does is, as you press it, it's gonna put the chassis into sport, which is a bit more, um, I'd, I'd say a good word for it is rough. And then as you, if you press it again, it goes into sport plus chassis. So it's even more rigid, kind of like a race car. And then you've got the button right below it, which gives you the option to lower the car, lower than the standard mode. And then as you turn it off, it raises the car back up. So it switches the low level off 
Below that, you've got traction control. You've got the option on the GTS for the sport exhaust system to come on. If you put the car in sport by itself, that will come on um, without you action, actually having to toggle it on. On the right, you've got your auto idle start stop button. You can keep that off. And then you've got your lane keep assist button as well. This is a fun button. This is for the hill descend. So my people who live out in like Colorado or the hills of California, if you're ever flying down a hill and you don't want to just free fall all the way down, just enable that button. And every time you take off your foot off the brake, it's actually going to uh, kind of keep you held back just slightly. And it, it will feel like there's somewhat of a braking on. Um, and then on the right side, it's um, a repeat of the driver functions. So this is the interior of the Macan. This is the Bordeaux red interior, which looks absolutely incredible. And it's more fun than your traditional, like the black that most people go with. If you wanna kind of step out a little bit from the norm, I think the Bordeaux red is a great interior because it comes with the full leather dash, which is amazing. And a little story on the leather that we do. The leather is so good that some of these high-end purse designers take some of the scraps that we don't use and they use them on their purses. So if you've got any of these high-end nice purses, there's a high chance that you might actually have Porsche's authentic leather in on your purse, which is really neat. So coming over to the overall body lines on the car, you'll find that very 911-esque. It follows the lines of like this Panamera right here. If you look at the, the overall body shape of it, the Macan really wanted to keep those lines similar to a 911 so that when you look at this car from the side, especially from the hood onto about here, it has that overall 911-esque feel. So that's the Macan GTS. This one's actually available. This is Porsche Austin. So if you're interested, give me a call. These typically don't last long. The typical wait time on something like this is eight to 10 months at the moment. And it, it's eased up slightly because it used to be 12 months to 15 months last year when you ordered one of these. So if you want one, give me a call. This is the Volcano Gray GTS, 434 horsepower. Absolute rocket. Enjoy the rest of your day.